Buenos días a todos. Um, la clase de la dos. Um, mama, papa, niñas, um, abuelo, abuela, familia, amigas. Welcome. Safe practices. Don't forget when you're going out, wear your mask. Don't forget when you're taking it out too. You need to, just like how I was using my fingers, it's very important that you take it out like this. If you have cloth masks, make sure and wash it. Don't wear dirty masks, okay? Also, social distancing, wash your hands, soap and water. All right, girls. So we are looking at what we are going to do, what we are going to do today. So let me share the screen. So y'all are doing the water cycle. We are looking at the water cycle using mixed media. In our last lesson, you remember when we talk about mixed media, we are talking about crayons, colored pencils, if you have markers, um, paper, those are the things that you're using. But in this lesson, right, we are using specifically paints, crayons, colored pencils. If you have oil pastels, you can use that as well. All right. So the first thing I want us to do is we are going to make a square. So how do you make a square? Let me just show you live. Um, we go here. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. And one minute, let me get you back to me. Come on, come on. Hold on. Why is it not coming to me? Stop share. Right. So you have your paper like this, right? Your paper like this. And anytime you want to get a square from a paper, all you have to do is take the end like this. Well, this end is torn. Take the smooth end, right? And you've got to bend it up like this, like a triangle. So you make sure that it touches the end like this. See the triangle? And you will have an excess here. So you bend it up like this end to end, then you crease it down. So let me crease it down for you to see. So you're going to have this. So in the slide, you're going to see this, right? This is the section we are working on. This section we are not working on. So let's go back to the video, the PowerPoint. Right? No, current slide. Good. Then I want you to use always, use a ruler to draw the line, right? So we're talking about the line where the paper was folded, right? So I use my ruler, I draw my, I drew my line. Can you see the line there, right? So we want this off, okay? Right, so I'm using the scissors to cut it off, and this is the part we will be we will be working with. So let me quickly cut off my part here. Now you know you all have this game where you all put your fingers in and you write something on the pockets. Right, it's the same thing we're doing here. So the first thing you will do, let me just show you here. Let me just stop share. Okay, so you have your perfect square. You have one fold, which folds it in half. Fold it again this way. Right? When you fold it again this way, you get another half. So you have one diagonal going this way, one diagonal going this way. And then we take it and you take the ends and fold it to the middle. You remember that game that you all play? So you take the end, fold it to the middle. That's one. Take the other end, 
pull it to the middle, that's two. Take the other end, pull it into the middle, that's three. Take the other end, pull it to the middle, that's four. So here we had our bigger square, and now we have the smaller square, right? So it's important, see from the beginning, that square that we formed was important, all right? Let's go back to the PowerPoint and see. So that's what I'm showing you on the PowerPoint, right? So you're bringing it to the middle, bringing it to the middle, bringing it to the middle, right? Okay. So we're doing the water cycle, right? So in the top corner, you're drawing the sun. I want to see two clouds, trees and mountains and waters. Now, let me show you how to draw the trees because I figure you all may not know. So let's look on the board now. So, So this is the edge of your paper. I'm going to put it in black because we're looking at the edge of your paper on the left-hand side, the right-hand side. This is your right-hand side. We want to draw the trees, right? So we have our square here. At the corner, we have the sun, right? I wanted it to be a dynamic, hot-looking sun. And then I wanted two clouds. All right, I'm specific, I want two clouds. Then I want for you to draw the trees. So I'm gonna draw it big here for you to see. A tree, a coconut tree, it's always narrow at the top, wide at the base. And then you're going to do one, two, three, four. And then you do like this, straight lines down. Straight lines down, make it down. The coconut leaves are falling down, okay? So I'm drawing it big for you to see. And we want about two coconut trees. So we're doing the same thing here, right? The next one right here, narrow, wide. Down like that, down like that, down like that, okay? And then I want two mountains right? Because the clouds, so all this is happening here at the edge here. I should have drawn this a little bit here. And the clouds are coming here because we want to show the water cycle, right? The clouds are coming here. Okay. All right. So let's get back to screen share and see what again we have to do. Great. In the middle, you will make your circle. Well, I just use a bottle cover, you know, from a jam bottle. You make a cover and you just put it in the middle, right? Because we are dealing with the water cycle. And I put arrows in it. Notice I use double line. Oh, that's a cover there. Okay. So here we can see my sun, two clouds, two coconut trees. Also, I have my mountains. I have my water coming down from the mountains and in the sea. Let's go over that again. So we have the sun. We have two clouds. We have one, especially one is near to the mountains and the river that is being formed. We have the two trees. We have the sea and we have the cycle there. Okay, so now we are going to learn how to use our mixed media. So I'm taking the crayons or oil pastels and I'm outlining my sun. Remember the properties of crayons. They don't do small areas neatly, but they help control water and they also give you that brilliance, that pop that you want. So I was able to outline my sun, outline my clouds. I noticed I did one dark blue, one light blue. I also dotted my rain from the dark blue especially, right? Because we know the dark blue is when it gets heavy and it's going to fall. Then we have the river and the river is flowing into the sea. Let's go over it again. So we have the sun, 
We have the clouds, light blue and dark blue, the rain coming down the mountains in the form of a river. The river is coming out into the sea, all right? And that's the cycle. I also outlined the cycle in red because I wanted that to show. Next, my next mixed media I used was the colored pencil. So remember I told you the crayons might be not be able to get the small areas. So I use my colored pencils. And inside here, I use my colored pencils, all right? But we still have the white area of the sea and the sky, right? Right, remember we learned about a wash, right? More water, less paint. And for the sky, I use more water, more paint and less hair. Right, so that's the end of our water cycle. Our water cycle looks like this now. See, this is what it should look like. It's not, oh, right, it's not that big, right? Because remember it was big like this. And if you want in your classes, you could write the different terms associated with the water cycle on the flap inside. All right, remember social distancing are in order. Wear your face mask. Be safe. Adios. Hasta la vista.